Hey guys, so another BIM Manager tip. We're going to talk about Revit properties. And this is going to be really brief. Um, it's, um, you know, it, it, just blindly saying Revit properties that could be pr pretty much anything, you know, options, the information, parameters, um, templates, um, but that's not the case. This is using a external to tool or add-in uh, that ties into Revit and it allows you to look at the Revit uh, properties when you're not in Revit by just right clicking on a file and it's useful because you can see a variety of different information like if it's work shared what version um, and um, it's just helpful to kind of have that information on hand without having to kind of go in there and open up a file especially if you don't know anything about it so to jump into it it is the project or BIM project suite and it is created by the CTC software software and we'll take a look at their actual site in a bit because I feel like um, that's where you're going to get the most information on this tool and this is essentially what it looks like so we have our our file name and path we have saved with so the version 2018 for this example um, last save path, uh, local when saved, um, is Revit LT file, um, and then work sharing and, and, and it, is it a uh, central file or is it a central model um, or I mean it, uh, the central model path. So you know this is kind of cool because I, I'll sometimes use this to see if the Files a central file, or if somebody detached or or did something weird, um, and something you know went on with that central model that caused it not to be a central model anymore. Um, but it's just nice to kind of get the idea of what your Revit version is, the path, and all that inf you know information really quickly by just right clicking, and then you can open your file in a different version from this dialog box as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and then we can take a look at just real quick um, kind of doing this process. So I've just got some random sample models here, but if you select on any, it doesn't really matter. You know, if you have a Revit model, there are some limits. I think you have to actually have Revit. The version on your machine for this to actually work. So if this was um, 18, and I didn't have 18 on my machine. I, I I may not be able to see the actual properties. So um, in this instance, I do have 18. So we right click, and then you can see that added um, Revit properties there in the um, drop down list. Alright, so there it goes. You can see a little preview image. That's kind of nice. I assume that's taking it um, from your one of your 3D views. I don't know um, which one specifically that is, but you can see it there. And then you can open in, you know, whatever version it's in and then um, any other later version past that so if this was in 16 then you could open it in 17 18 19 and then if you have 20 20 then 20 so you know that that you know that's just another option but you can just briefly get information about models especially if it's the first time you're getting into them you don't know what's going on right clicking it getting, getting some of that kind of generic information especially if they if there was no way to know what version it was on um, this is a quick way to kind of see that. So just some insights, quick tip, small. Um, I'm, I plan on doing some more information on the actual CTC BIM project suite. Um, they have a number of tools, one of them being the batch suite. They have a BIM manager suite. They have a BIM data suite. Um, but I wanted to do one on batch suite, the BIM project suite, and then eventually BIM manager suite. So look, look forward, 
look for those in the future. Um, I'll release them here and there, and I, I may have I may make a series out of them, and not just kind of tag them into this BIM Manager tip tip video. But if we jump over here and we can actually get into that link, I actually should already have it open. So with this open, um, so if we just go up to the top, so you can see how much it is. And uh, so the BIM project suite 2019, $550. Um, that might be a year. I don't know. I can't remember. And um, yeah, it might even be just for a, a license itself. Either way, that's not what we're here. So if you want, check it out and take a look at that yourself and see if it's in the range of a tool that you know you can purchase. And if you're on this site, you can scroll down a bit. So here, Sweet Tools, and you can see all their tools and I think there's so yeah these should be actually all the free ones here so anything um, up here at the top so these these uh, five and then this one so these six are all free so BIM list detail link project link quick quick select Revit properties and renumbering and then the rest uh, you have to pay for and a lot of these are really cool um, spreadsheet link is probably the, the coolest, at least for me. I really like it. Uh, the room data sheets, fab sheets, parameter jammer is pretty cool. There, there's a whole bunch of cool ones, and we'll go through these at some point. But, um, yeah, th these are free, so go ahead and download them. But if you want to get the full suite of the tools, you know, um, go ahead and check out if it's something that, that's worth paying for. So if you click on it though, it'll pull you down and you can take a look at the tool itself. So um, here's the Revit Properties tool. And then it shows you kind of how it works and it gives you some information on the key features. We kind of talked about this already. It opens up the file or it gives you, you know, a bunch of information on the file itself um, essentially. But if you want to learn more, you can check this out. And then also check out the other tools as well. Which again are you know these ones are free so the renumbering, the um, Revit properties, and then you know these other ones. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it's a cool tool. Um, let me know if you're already using it and if it's something you use quite a bit um, or not. Um, and thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully it helped you.